here. Sitting on the oh. goddamn corner. No, finish the line. That's how we're starting it now. Oh, really? Sitting on the goddamn corner doing dope. Sitting on the goddamn corner doing dope. My, sitting on the goddamn corner doing dope. Goddamn right, bitch. Welcome to the podcast. Sitting on the goddamn sit, Sitting on the goddamn Sitting on the goddamn corner doing dope. Sitting on the goddamn sit, Sitting on the goddamn Sitting on the goddamn God, 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 right, bitch. Welcome to the podcast. podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, if you're listening to this, you just learned that you were a part of the Truman Show. We've been watching you your entire life. Uh, Ooh, it was, that was weird. It was a little dodgy in sixth grade. Didn't know which way that was going to go, but you pulled through, and we're proud of you, kid. And what uh could happen in sixth grade that you didn't know it was going to pull through? You know what? It's okay. That's 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 for What happened to you out. in sixth grade that you didn't know you were going to pull through? Uh, sixth grade was your year I found out my dad had cancer. Oh, I didn't get crazy depressed till middle school when I found out what I thought real problems was. Middle school was sixth grade, wasn't it? What, Not for me. Okay, no. Did Was your school K through six as well? Yeah. Yeah! Fucking small schools. My shit was K through six. So It was weird going into high school as a seventh grader. Like You went into high school? So, yeah. my thing was, the way my school was, I had, uh, before all the schools ended up merging and stuff like that, because now my school, all three locations are right next to each other. But um, it used to be I went to Cox Donahay, and it was K through six. And then I went to Brownsville's middle school, which was se- only only seven and eighth graders. Huh. And then, but like right, it was like it wasn't like far away from the high school. Like the high school was right there. It was just like an offshot of a couple buildings that mm. made up seventh and eighth grade. And then ninth through twelfth was my high school. So no, we had we had two buildings. There was K through six, which was the elementary school, and then we had seven through twelve, which was the high school. And it was oh, that's like a I mean, it's a five year age difference. Mm. It's weird. How old would I have been in seventh grade? By the time I got to seventh grade, it was like the merging. Like you had Central, you had Cox, you had. A- <laughs> <laughs> I am twenty seven. Oh, you years. know what? You could have you could have got away with it. You just would have went and kept I know. Going. I know. Here's the thing. I'm twenty seven years old. I have never matured past the point that I went to Cox Donahue. Just now, and it's C O X, but it's still never not been funny, especially when we try to say it in normal sentences. But anyway, there was Central. There was Cox. There was a uh, see. No matter what, there was Cardale. And I think there was one other, but when you went to middle school, all four of those fucking schools just combined into one. Oh, wow. So, like, there was so many 7th and 8th graders that we kind of needed our own separate little thing. But, like, we would still, in gym class, because the auditorium was shared by everybody, we would still end up, like, hanging out. Like, I dated a girl in that was a high schooler when I was in 8th grade, because I met her... I dated a gym. senior in 8th grade. Dude, I dated a senior in elementary for, like, a week. Oh, we were together for like uh, almost a year. We went to homecoming together. Uh, boy, a lot. I took no. I I was like, wow. I've 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 repressed a lot of those memories. That's what I said. I loved my high school experience, so I remember a lot of it. I mean, there was a lot of depressing shit. Yeah, I remember uh, my best friend uh, stealing I, I don't want to say stealing my girlfriend like stealing her away oh from you have me, one of those stories yeah I mean my we we were on a break on a break as put as, the put the Ross or I guess in this situation <laughs> it would be the uh, the female one oh I can't get this wrong it's not Phoebe not, not Jennifer Aniston it's Jennifer An- I know it's Jennifer Aniston Rachel. Trust me, I know the actor Rachel 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 who was Ross's sister that was not Phoebe was the weird hippie. Oh wait, yeah. Um, Ross's sister was Monica, so Rachel was right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I did it. Rachel <laughs> was right. I was like, I was like, I know it sounds different. I'm like Monica. Monica, there it is. You can uh, you can be proud of uh, your man. Dot. He got it right. I don't like Phoebe, but I think she knows that. I don't know. I don't, I don't like Phoebe, and I don't like Ross. Either way, put put Rachel up was the whole point of this. Yeah. Fine. We were on a break. <laughs> We were on a break, uh, and then I went away for some reason. I cannot remember what it was, but I was gone for, like, four or five days. And when I came back to school, the first thing someone told me was, hey, uh, fucking D and K are together. And I was like, oh, cool. Was K the girl? Yes. Hey, we share that, too. Same exact scenario, except my, the guy was not a D. Well, he was a D, but his name didn't begin with a D. Um... Blur, blur this next part out. Say the name on the count of three. One, two, three. 
Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I now we're going to do the opposite. One. Say the other name. One, two, three. Oh, how did we get on this subject? Oh, cheating. <laughs> we were talking about cheating at the beginning. We are talking about high school. Yeah, I mean, high school involves cheating. Oh, my God. I, I don't feel like that's indicative. Like... I feel like no matter what, whether you f- were, whether you were cheated on, you did the cheating, or you knew somebody that was one of those two roles. Yeah, cheating was a part of high school. It was Fair. garbage, but cheating was a part of high school. And I really hate to say it, but that's just like kind of the world we grew up in. Because, ooh, ready for me to sound old and boomerish? Yeah, give it to me. The music and the way television was done that day. I mean, ah! it really. It really did influence some people in high school. Oh, really? That's, that's not a question. I'm, so Growing up with Jersey Shore, I could tell you a lot a lot more people became a lot more sexual when that show came out. Are you ready Are you ready to do some deep personal trivia? Oh, okay. You named three roles of cheating. There is being a cheater, being cheated on, and knowing someone who was one of those two roles. How many roles have you filled in your life? Say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Three. Two. I didn't. Oh, I didn't expect that from you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back. We're gonna keep trucking along. Uh, oh, is that part not going in? Where were we? Oh no, that'll go in. Oh, I we're mean, just done with that bit. That doesn't I was like, have to. That's, that doesn't have to. I will acknowledge that uh, it happened in my life, but it's not something that I really want to bring up. It was also a very long time ago. I it will, was not after high school. I will acknowledge nothing. I'm, I'm sticking with my two. Nothing. <laughs> I have been. Faithful. I will acknowledge that you're not the one I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ahers, you got nothing to worry about. No, I have. I am nothing but faithful to my current wife. I know. You're, I know you're not listening, but I love you. Uh boy, this took a sentimental turn. This is weird. Mm, getting deep in the feelings. Uh, so, you what's want- your earliest memory of your mom? Why? Why immediately my mom? I heard it on a TV show. I've been watching uh, Upload on uh, Prime. It's 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 a pretty good show. There's a lot of inconsistencies that I don't like about the show, but like as a, as an overall narrative, it's fun. You would really enjoy JoJo. <laughs> no, we're not talking no, about no, fucking no, anime. No, stop. That wasn't even that wasn't even a jab at anything. That was more of a jab at JoJo itself. Because <laughs> all I do is praise it, but it's just like yeah, there's a lot of inconsistencies sometimes. Like uh, so Upload ascent. Uh, I don't know if we want to get into this, but. I mean, okay, so my earliest thing of my mom. Uh, no, we don't have to get into uh, that either. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which, which roller coaster you want me to get on, man. You brought me to the theme park. I'm so, ooh. What, uh, how many theme parks have you been to in your lifetime? Uh, geography. Not your previous lifetimes, just this one. Do you think there were theme parks in your previous lifetimes? It, yeah, there were theme parks more than 27 years ago. Well, I mean, I ago. get... It, yeah, but I also guess it depends on how fast I lived or how long I lived. Or... True. Let's say you live. What's the average? That also depends if I believe in past lives. That's true. So. If you lived eighty-five years, can, how old is too old to go to a theme park? Can I can I 50? answer one of your questions before you go on a tirade? Sorry, I've been to four. I think I've been to four. I've been to Cedar Point, Geauga Lake. Uh, what? Kennywood. What? You the theme parks in my life? Geauga. No. What was that second one? Oh, uh, Cedar Point, Geauga Lake. I've never heard of that. I have a story from Geauga Lake, man. <laughs> I love that trip to Geauga Lake. What's the other two? What's the other uh, two? I'm trying to... I think it's uh, Kennywood, and I've been to Hershey. And I feel like I've been... So, I feel like I've been to more because when my... I used to visit my... I mean, if you count Idlewild or, like, Six Flags. Okay, I've been to Idlewild. I guess I've worked at Six Flags with... You worked at Six Flags? Well, with Ace Axe throwing. I worked Oh, that, that doesn't place. count. Ah, but Get was, the fuck out. I was no, in, that doesn't count. I was in Sandcastle. No, no, no. You weren't enjoying it. Anyway, uh, oh, I got free food and booze. I was enjoying the shit out of it. All right, fair enough. And got paid. <laughs> <laughs> Homie, I made out like a bandit. <laughs> and I was, like, the first week of working. <laughs> yeah. Uh... No, nah, but there had to be more because I went with my cousins to places, but I can't remember them because I have drank, smoked, and done shit since then. Um, Lived life. Yeah. But no, like, what? So how many have you been to? Because now I, I found a theme for us to um, on. Have you been to Bush Gardens? No, I don't oh, remember. Oh, dude, Bush Gardens is pretty cool. In fact, I believe for a couple years of my life, I thought Bush Gardens was like a beer theme park type deal like not you know like what? a theme it's park fair. but like a, a place you go to receive beer and taste beer and yeah. bush light shit that sounds even though bush probably ain't that fancy no and is also not a part of bush gardens in the slightest 
I know that. Uh, they might serve, you know, bush beer there, but... Uh, that would make sense. No, Bush Gardens is a pretty cool theme park. Uh, we had to go there on a field trip along with Colonial uh, Williamsburg, I think, is that, if that's what it's called. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, that place sucked. It was, it was boring. Uh, and it was a college trip, so like, we're like, why? We're not college learning. College trip. Yeah. We did ah, that for no. choir. Fucking I wasn't a, in college long enough an to do unnamed, trips. An unnamed person who uh, I admire greatly uh, just like took a giant like sheets cup on the bus I was like, here, you want some? It was just, like, straight booze, big sheets cup. Like, uh, is the 64-ouncer, is, is that a big one? Yeah, that's the big one. Just full of booze. He's like, Colonial Williamsburg is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> it's about to be fucking awesome. I hung out with him all day, and it was a way better time than it ever would have been on my own. I'm really sad that we uh, didn't find out that there was a nice air-conditioned bookstore, like, right across one of the streets on the far end that we could have just hung out in for four hours. But I digress. I've been to Bush Gardens. I've been to Hershey Park. I've been to... I've been to Idlewild, but uh, I was sent there as a punishment to babysit. When I was older, I got in trouble, and so I had to go with uh, my mom's church's junior youth group uh, to like just watch the stuff in the pavilion as they went and did all the kid Idlewild shit, and it was boring as fuck. Uh, that was one of the weirder punishments, Mom, but it was a good one. You taught me to hate Idaho. <laughs> don't, me, <laughs> don't sponsor us. Um, <laughs> Take your storybook forest and shove it up Mother Goose's aw, ass. Oh, I remember the storybook forest. I never liked it. It just it used to I creep was, me out. There, there <laughs> creep was, you out? Yeah, there was one. It was the fucking dude who lived in the shoe or whatever it was. Yeah, that's where you get all the photo op. Yeah, it was fucking creepy. Why the creepiest thing in the fucking park you want me to take a picture with? <laughs> it was creepy, man. Oh my goodness! Like that was when you can tell. I, I is it slander? Like you can tell the people who made that fucking thing didn't give a shit. Like that's not true, dude. Like Mother Goose and all that stuff. It, t seriously, take your nostalgia glasses off and try to remember that shit. That stuff did not look good. I can't. The only thing I really it remember. Was horrifying. I watched Freddy Krueger and shit as a kid, and I was terrified of that dude in the shoe. The only memory I have of Storybook Forest is uh, taking a photo in the big apple with the head cut out. I do remember the apple. There was like a worm sticking out of the apple too. Mm -hmm. It looked like the fucking Scholastic book thing. Uh, and I remember climbing a rope bridge. If you haven't watched our Animal Crossing New Horizons eSports tournament recently, you're in luck. You can get some sweet-ass Animal Crossing merch from the Establishment for Human Goods. They gave us the Crag t-shirt that you saw Dice wearing on the stream. Sorry for the lighting, but it's a really good shirt. It's high quality, it feels nice, and it looks great. And you can get a discount. All you have to do is go to the website and you get a 20% discount? 20% off discount. The discount code is SALTY. With That's a capital S. With a capital S. Capital S. Lowercase A-L-T-Y. Alty. 69XX for R. Um, that last part's not right. And go check out their stuff. Uh, I personally am in love with the uh, the hoodies they do. Yeah, the hoodies are fantastic. There's a really cool CJ and Flick hoodie that I really, really want, and if I get a little bit more stimulus money from the government, maybe I can stimulate my local economy. I can stimulate my local Ooh. hoodie. I almost went into my my Texan gentleman there. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I have a furnace for you to fix. <laughs> Is that a question we can pose to the public? Down in the comments today, what do you call a uh, a a contracted worker who works on uh, like gas lines? A plumber plums. An electrician, you know, works on the electric. What do you call a, what, a, a gas lines person? Why are we asking the people? Why can't we just look it up? You know, I guess we could just Google it. But that's, no, it's for you no, to do. No, that's not a very good thing for them. to. We got to be more engaging than that. Why All are you right. cleaning your phone? Oh, I don't know, because it's dirty. I mean, that is a good reason to clean something. Hey, do you clean your phone at home? If there's... Do you give your phone the old waxing? If there's a spot in your home that's been, like, dirty for the last couple of days, weeks, maybe Monsters. even months, that, uh, that you're just like, boy, I would really like to have that space back. And you want to reclaim that area of your life? Just fucking do it. Turn this podcast... Uh, actually, go turn on the Animal Crossing tournament and just put it on the background. Listen to it. Enjoy enjoy the funnies and the ha-has. And just, you know, just clean that area. It'll You'll feel better at the end of it. Trust us. Just do it. This is why are we trying to always be wholesome at the end of these? Because I feel like uh, we shit on each other a lot in 
all of the content that we produce. Yeah, but the thing is, the content lets us get all the funnies and jabs at each other, but then we have really cool conversations on the podcast all the time. Yeah. Like, there's no shitting on each other in the podcast. There's just laughing at each other. That's fair. I don't, I don't feel know. I don't feel attacked like I did in Excite Bike, for example. I've, you know? I've turned a new leaf in my life, and I'm trying to become a more positive influence in the world. If you want to become a more positive influence in the world, Put d- I am selling press these... Press X to doubt. I... I'm selling these happiness pills for nine ninety nine a pop. Nope, stop it. Podcast over. Goodbye, and guys. You, if you Goodbye, buy a box, no, you can buy a box and sell them to your guys. friends. Love you all. Good night. And then they Good get night. they get Good friends. Night.